So hello everyone. I am glad to be here for our office hour. Actually, this is a part of the hackathon. You have seen this morning the tutorial done by Vigneron about Sparkle. At Sparkle actually kind of uh, shows us how we can not only actually add knowledge for, uh, for, uh, to Wikimedia projects, but also use it actually uh, for a variety of purposes. One of these purposes actually is to create web tools for the social good. Yeah, so just a brief disclosure here is that this is an office hour of a Wikimedia funded project, a research project about using Wikidata to support clinical practice. Yeah, so, so they, to, to explain what we are intended to do, so we are mainly making an overview. We are showing uh, you how actually we use Wikidata to extract knowledge, transform them, and load them in web services using a variety of methods. Well, we have actually seven tools that we like to show you how to work with. Yeah, the first one, as Vioron said, is the Wikidata query service. And the Wikidata query service is a Wikimedia implementation of the Sparkle server based on PlaceGraph engine. So what you can do is that you can formulate the Sparkle query to ask about what you need and actually run it and actually ask for the code to implement that in your application. And there are plenty of formats there. Yeah. We have plenty of formats there uh, where, where we were uh, like URL, like HTML, like PHP, JavaScript, etc. And this will allow you to embed the results of the query in, in, in your source code, whatever its uh, actually source language is. So for example, if you are developing a tool in Java, so you, you, you copy the code, the pa you paste it, and when you run again your code, actually the result will not be the same as this is actually refreshed in real time. So what you will have here actually is the result as you run the query. And that's the advantage because you, you can actually do your application with the updated status of knowledge in Wikidata. The second thing is Wikibase Integrator. And Wikibase Integrator is a very simple Python library to use, actually to kind of uh, get information from Wikidata and add information from Wikidata. It has been developed by Lemist a few years ago. And actually writing it is quite intuitive by contrast to PyWikibot that is kind of very hard to, ha to handle and to manipulate and there are many tokens actually to process. Actually with this, it is very simple. You provide the source, uh, you provide the login, the password, it will generate the authorized for you uh, from Wikia Wiki and, and then you, you can just write what you will add or what you will get in the form of triples and get and, and add the information that you like. The third thing is Wikidata Hub. And Wikidata Hub is an API, actually, that allows you to identify the Wikidata item corresponding to an external identifier. As you know, there are many external identifiers that are represented for every item in Wikidata. For example, uh, Bibliothèque Nationale de France, uh, like uh, WordCat U UCLC, like uh, MESH, Medical Subject Hidden, UMLS. There are plenty of resources that are aligned uh, to Wikidata items. And the thing is that you can actually enter the external identifier and he will uh, that, that, uh, that, you are, that API will find for you the right uh, Wikidata item corresponding to that. So you, you can, uh, you can uh, actually uh, very easily actually, uh, because it is in JSON, you can process it using requests. 
that we will explain uh, a bit later. Yeah. Uh, another thing is the Wikimedia Toolforge. And the Wikimedia Toolforge will allow you to host, actually, uh, if you have developed an application, pro probably uh, 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 an application based on HTML and JavaScript and CSS or web application. So you can actually access to Toolforge and actually get a token and host your work there. And so it will be deployed automatically on the Wikimedia Cloud directly. So you will define your repository, you will generate the SSH key, and then you will, you will write just some shell scripts, and, uh, and that's all. And there are some, for example, if, if your uh, website is dynamic, using PHP or using Flask, for example, to actually kind of log in, do some edits, etc. So there are some Python and PHP servers that actually can be used uh, for implementing websites. Yeah, concerning Flask. Well, Flask is a microwave framework written in Python. And uh, it, uh, it is mainly done to actually uh, generate APIs, but also to define dynamic web pages. So you can use the get or the post method actually to, to, to get arguments from the URL, and then using these arguments, you can provide services in an automated way. So there are some pages you can define uh, in a way or another. You can define some stati static web pages inside it as well, because not all the pages in dynamic page, uh, the dynamic website are, are dynamic. There are some static pages. You can define the dynamic uh, pages. You can do some code in, in Python, actually, to, uh, to process the arguments. And then you can run the web tool in, in two lines of code, so as you see here. Yeah. One important thing is the MediaWiki Search API, uh, also known as Elasticsearch. Well, they, this, is, this is mainly functions as a GET request to perform an advanced search for wiki pages by title or content text match. So for example, here is the JavaScript code for using that API. You define the language of the, your search, and then you, de you define that you, I will be using JSON. And then using that JSON, uh, there is a JavaScript code to convert it into the, a table, actually. And, and you, when you click on the result, you, you will search for it or something. And actually, this works for Wikidata. So for example, we have the API for Wikidata for, for the search. And actually, we, we, we use it uh, actually to create, uh, to create applications when we need actually uh, to search for, for elements, for Wikidata items, and then do some, something with them. Yeah. Actually, this, this can work use, using Wikibase Integrator as well. So if you would like to do the same with Python, you c there is uh, a function, search entities, that allows you to do the same automatically without having to do fancy code. Yeah, then there is requests. And request actually allows you to actually uh, manipulate uh, APIs, particularly in JSON. And you, you, uh, that allows you to get, uh, to get the, the, the text, the data, the JSON dump of the page that you are requesting for, and actually processing it using Python. Yeah, so that's all what we need to show you as uh, the, the tools that you can use and we have used as well. So now we will be showing you how we, we generated some web applications, useful web applications, actually using these methods. And nothing but these methods. And we are, I'm not a computer scientist, Yemen is not too, 
and we have made successful apps. So, actually, I will leave the floor to Yemen to introduce the first two. Hello, thank you very much for being here. Uh, my name is Yemen, I'm from Tunisia. I'm from uh, the Wiki World Heritage User Group. And I will present today this application called Southpedia, which allow us to uh, scan QR code and listen to the Wikipedia articles in the, in the language of the phone. So what is Southpedia? So it's a tool that enable, uh, enables the generation of a QR code for, any, for, uh, for a monument, for example, or any building or uh, uh, museum collection, for example. When you scan it, the, the system will detect what is the phone language and will, uh, will, will trigger uh, uh, listening to the Wikipedia article that corresponds to this language uh, on, from Wikipedia. So first of all, you scan the QR code, the system detects what is the, phone, the, the language of the phone, go to Wikidata, from Wikidata it will uh, look for a property called spoken data, and a spoken Wikipedia file, then go to comments to, uh, to retrieve uh, either the, 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 the recorded audio file or to generate text to speech. So, uh, so this is the idea. So it's based on Wikidata. Wikidata then will go to uh, either to comments to retrieve the audio file or to generate uh, use the API text to speech to generate uh, 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 automatic uh, lecture uh, uh, audio of the, the Wikipedia article, Wikipedia page. Mm -hmm. You can actually go uh, scan the QR code and you will go to get actually the source code and the URL of the functional code. We can show quickly how it's working. So basically it can be accessible when South, South uh, in Arabic or in Swahili means vo uh, audio. So the URL is southpedia.wiki. It's uh, hosted on Toolforge, the tool that Hussam just presented. And for example, if I want to generate, uh, we have this monument for Tunisia, which is uh, we, we used for uh, uh, to generate a QR code. I think there is uh, some photos here. Yeah, so this is uh, some, this is for example, a monument in Tunisia, a listed monument. So we have this, uh, we printed the QR code, we generated the QR code, it's, uh, it has been printed and uh, posted on uh, in the enters. And as you can see here, using Wikidata, we have this property spoken text audio. We have a recording in Arabic and a recording in French. And in English, there is no recording, so the, the tool will generate the text to speech. For example, uh, we'll try here. Those. So this is the Wikipedia article. All I have to do is to copy the URL, go to the tool, and uh, uh, this is very similar to the QRpedia. If you know QRpedia, this is uh, inspired from it. So it will generate this QR code, then you can download this and print it. So if I scan this QR code, my phone is in English. So if I scan it, the tool will uh, will go to Wikidata. But there is no recording, uh, no recorded uh, audio file on comment, so it will generate. Reebok of Lambda is a small and within Reebok in the coastal town of Lambda, Tunisia. The building was constructed in 859, corresponding to 245 AH by the Aglibid Prince Abu Ibrahim Ahmad ibn Muhammad. So uh, this is because the, the phone was in English. So the uh, so when, when scanning the QR code, it will go to Wikidata. So here, this is the Wikidata item of this uh, monument. So here we have this property, spoken text audio. So basically it will look for uh, English. There is no English, there is Arabic, French. So it will trigger the text to speech. But if it's in, uh, if if my phone is in French, uh, your phone is in French, sorry. French. Can I borrow it? Yeah. <laughs> so we'll try to scan with the French uh, phone. All right. from the laptop if it's fine. Yeah, I think <laughs> that is good actually. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. a bit. okay, so yeah, that's it. Right. <laughs> 
appelé Bat Lamta est une petite forteresse arlabide située dans la ville côtière de Lamta en Tunisie. Description et histoire. L'édifice est construit en 859, correspondant à l'an 245 de l'Égypte par le prince arlabide Aboul Ibrahim. Il est composé d'un édifice carré à un seul niveau avec des tours rondes aux angles. L'entrée du Libat se fait par une seule entrée principale qui s'ouvre sur un couloir so, droit. As you can see, so based on the phone of the, of the language of the phone, we can uh, listen to different version, either in English or in French, depending on uh, on, the, on, the, on the on the phone. This can be very useful, for example, to be used in uh, for a museum collection, for example, uh, statues, mosaics, and everything. So the museum can put these QR codes, and uh, visitors can use it as an audio alternative audio guide for free, for example, or even within a city for the monuments. So you don't have to put several QR codes by language; only one QR code and the tool will, uh, will detect what is the language and automatically generate uh, the, the, the audio file. So currently this uh, has been, is being used already in Tunisia, but we still have a few things to fix. Uh, so the remaining to do here. So we have a problem with uh, iPhones, iPad, iOS, I mean to read OGG files because the audio files are uh, hosted on Wikimedia Commons on OGG format. And currently, if I try to uh, to scan with iPhone, and there is to read the audio file from comments, there is an issue, and uh, the phone will try to download the file instead of reading it. So this is an issue that needs to be fixed. It's not fixed yet. Also, we would like also to uh, to adjust the API in order to record some statistic. For example, how many scan uh, the QR code has been scanned, how many language to detect what I mean the visitors, for example, for a monument or a museum from which country major uh, the majority are from. So this is we can do some gen some statistic around that. Also, there is uh, this is can be also added to detect the local languages dialects. For example, in a country like India, most of people will use an, a phone in English, but English is not their language. So they they speak uh, Urdu or Tamil or or other lo local dialects. So instead of uh, listening to the audio uh, in English, the the tool can propose, for example, to say there is a local. Uh, audio in, for example, Urdu, would you like to listen to it instead of English? So it's always better to, uh, to, to, to listen to the Wikipedia article or to the audio in the local dialect or the local languages. So this is can be added. And the last thing also, uh, currently, if there is no, of course, Wikipedia article, we cannot generate anything. So it's based because it's based on Wikipedia article. But for example, if I scan uh, with an English phone and there is no English uh, uh, Wikipedia article, we can use something like a resonator to generate brief introduction using Wikidata. Using, uh, for example, so let's try the resonator, for example, for uh, this. So as well, if I don't have an article, for example, in English. So for example, the tool, we can add this feature to use resonator to something like resonator. So currently just a small sentence for each Tunisia, but uh, of course this can be improved by adding more data to Wikidata to, uh, to generate a sentence and uh, read it automatically. So this is uh, the, the, the pending action to, to, uh, to fix. So this is, uh, uh, this is uh, an issue to fix. This is some improvement to the tool that we would like to, uh, to, uh, to, to do. So if there's anyone who could, would like to help on this tool, it's more than welcome. Okay, so this is what South Korea. Yeah. The so next tool Hussein will present it is called the medicine. Yeah, so uh, thank you, Yemen. So medicine actually, we all know that clinical decision support systems in the markets are mainly monolingual and mainly paywalled, etc. So the, the fact that Wikipedia, that Wikidata includes a huge amount of medical information in a multilingual setting, in a variety of formats. Actually, it is a huge waste not to use that for clinical decision support. And so, 
we actually developed this tool that is mainly based on uh, Wikidata query service that actually gets a list of items, for example, a list of drag, actually, and create the, the Wikidata, Spark, uh, Wikidata query service, actually, to find, for example, uh, drag interactions. For example, if the, the, the initial items are, are, are diseases, for example, it, they, it can generate complications. If there are symptoms, they, it can generate probable uh, diagnosis, etc. So to show you how it works, actually, I made a brief demo. So let's see it together to see. So as you see, it is multilingual. So that's at the first sight. So this is mainly the search based on Elasticsearch. So you, we can actually add as much drags as, as we can. Yeah. For example. And then we choose, we have a list about what we need to do with this, all these elements. Yeah, so we, should, we, ha we are fine with track interactions. There are six actually ways to actually process these elements. Actually, we, we run the, 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 uh, the tool, the que uh, Sparkle query is generated, and actually it returned uh, the results. And that's all. So, actually, as I said earlier for Saltpedia, there's the, the QR code for the, the URL of the tool and the source code. Actually, the tool is deployed on as Wiki, Wiki GitHub page, and the source code is actually uh, hosted on GitHub. So, what remains to do, actually, we are supporting five languages now, so we need to add more languages, and we need native speakers to add more and more languages. And actually, we need some medical experts to add new features, because we believe that there are more things that we can actually generate using medical information in Wikidata. Yeah. So I will leave the floor again for Yemen, actually. So uh, now we are just going to present two, um, two new ideas that we would like to implement, and if there is anyone also um, uh, keen to help. Uh, the first idea is called Wiki Festival Calendar. So this idea also is to use Wikidata to generate uh, a calendar of festival around the world, uh, for example, listed as UNESCO Cultural Heritage. So uh, I, the idea is come when, when we travel to a country, we would like to see if there is a festival during that uh, period. So we attend this festival to discover the culture. So the idea is to use Wikidata to generate a calendar uh, of the festivals by country, by period. So we can plan a trip based on this information. So uh, we can use Wikidata for that. So instance of festival, for example, and we have also the date, uh, the occurrence of the festival and generate this calendar, which can be very useful for, uh, for people to, uh, to visit the countries. So this is the first idea to, uh, that we would like to, 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 uh, to do. The second, one, the second, the second idea is uh, it's called Wikidata Books. Also, it, uh, we would like to use Wikidata to generate uh, uh, books online. Uh, for example, this is a very example use case, I mean steps. For example, the first step, for example, you choose a cover photo of the book, for example, from comments. Step number two, define the structure of the book or the ebook. Then for, uh, for chapter one, for example, you input Sparkle query. The Sparkle query will retrieve a list of Wikipedia articles, will compile them, and will compose the first chapter. Then next, second chapter, a query from uh, Wikidata that uh, return a list of articles and uh, create the, the, the book. And we can also generate some data views, also include the data views in the book. For example, ma map, timelines, uh, and everything. Uh, a practical uh, example of uh, use of this, for example, for example, I would like to generate an e-book, for example, of the Medina of Tunis, which is a UNESCO World Heritage. So, for example, the, the user will choose beautiful photo from the Medina from Commons. 
the next step, chapter one, for example, the city gate, the old gates of the city, Wikidata, I can retrieve all the articles, Wikipedia articles that about the gates, so that then I will have the first chapter. Then the second, second chapter, the city palaces, for example. Same thing, instance of palace located in the part of the Medina of Tunis from Wikidata, the query sparkle. Then we have a list of articles. Then I have the second chapter and, and go on. And then I will generate the, the book. And we can the, download this book as PDF. They can be used as educational resource for people to, to learn about, about the history of the Medina, the history of the city. So it can be a good alternative uh, for education resources for people who doesn't have the, the hardware to access uh, Wikipedia or, uh, or other educational resources. So we can print, have these uh, books uh, printed and uh, for any subject, for example, can be museums, uh, history, uh, uh, species. So, and of course, all of this using Wikidata. Well, thank you, Emin. So as a conclusion, actually there are plenty of tools as I explained earlier that can be used to build Wikidata-based web services. So these tools are easy to learn and we should all disseminate these tools and work with, with, the, with them. And so the most important actually is to have the idea. The idea is the thing that mostly counts. Actually the tool can be can be learned by everyone, but the idea of having a use case of Wikidata is actually very difficult to, to envision. And that's why we think that everyone should, should actually uh, brainstorm about using Wikidata and actually think that they can actually build their own web applications using this database. Thank you, Hossein. I think this is the, the right challenge. I mean, this is the challenge for us, for uh, our, for the community. I mean, it's uh, it's good to have content on Wikipedia and comments and everything. It's better to how to know how to use this content, and this is the real challenge. I mean, content the creation of content can be very easy, uh, very easy in the next future. One with one button, I can translate all the Wikipedia, for example, in English in any other language. Create new pages with with uh, with the tools like ChatGPT, uh, generate uh, photos by, with mid journeys. So the creation of content will be more and more easy in the future. But the real challenge is to know how to use this content. I mean, f find the right applications, the right uh, uh, use cases to use this content so it can be useful for people. So this is the real challenge. And uh, we have, as Hussein said, we need to think, to brainstorm how to, to find new, new use cases to use the content on the Wiki project. Thank you very much. Thank you. So if you have any questions, feel free. Actually, these are my contacts. You can reach out to me at every moment. Uh, actually, if you, uh, you need further information about the tools or the applications. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Yes? Yeah. Well, thank you very much. It, it was uh, super interesting. Um, I have one question. Um, when you talked about uh, the different tools, you mentioned, for example, a uh, Wikibase integrator. Uh, you, you mentioned also, uh, quite briefly, a PyWikibot, uh, and also the, 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 the API, the, the Bear uh, API. And I wonder um, if, uh, when and where should we uh, use b because they they have a lot of um, um, characteristics in, in common and and I uh, I always wonder which to use because uh, I I am for example I, I am starting to build uh, to build a tool with PyWikiBot but um, I wonder for example the uh, if the speed uh, is different uh, between uh, those different tools if using the the bare api is faster for example than than using um some python um, modules I, I don't know uh, d uh, in your experience uh, yeah. what uh, could you tell us yeah so actually all of them are based on uh, particularly uh, the media wiki api or the sparkle query service so that that's for sure so they will run at the same rate in, in some way however 
if you, you would like actually not the aided wiki data, you, you would like to only to get information. Actually, you can go through, for example, the Wikidata Hub API, and that's all. Concerning the Wikibase integrator, it is mainly useful if you, you, are, you will be interacting with Wikidata. This means that you will get, it, you will get information, process it, and go back to add it to Wikidata again. Or, for example, getting some information from other resources, process it, and then get, get it to Wikidata. So that, that's it. Concerning Wikibot, okay, by Wikibot, actually, uh, if if the the user actually has experience in building Wikipedia bots, and it, it, it is actually he is actually familiar with actually uh, doing some some requests and uh, and some uh, edit automated edits using PyWikiBot, so why he should learn something new? He can adapt himself in some way. But for the newbies, actually, this is the problem. Because they don't, they don't know how, how to use PyWikiBot. It is difficult to learn. There are few tutorials. There are mainly some fancy, like, uh, beginner tutorials, not go going straight to the points. Actually, the technical community is actually very hard to reach concerning the PyWikiBot question. So here, Wikibase integrator will play its, uh, its real, real uh, function. Thank you. Uh, merci pour tout pour uh, votre présentation. J'aimerais savoir tout ce que vous avez développé. Uh, comment est-ce que vous pensez diffuser ça dans la communauté? Parce que uh, Je pense que l'outil que vous développez, ce n'est pas pour vous seul, c'est pour que ça serve. Et, et Est-ce que vous avez un plan pour, pour diffuser ça auprès des utilisateurs? Merci. Bien évidemment. Bon, Yamen peut répondre à la fin. Ouais. Très bien. <rire> Alors, euh, pour diffuser... Euh... Euh, oui, on va traduire euh, la question avant. Bien, on va bien. traduire la question avant en anglais, ensuite on va répondre. Donc, uh, so the question was... Uh, I mean, these tools are uh, are very good, but how you are you willing to, to communicate about these tools so the community can know about them and use them? Yeah, so the answer here is that <coughs> uh, actually we participated to, to many Wikimedia conferences actually to share this with the Wikimedia community. Actually, Yemen was the Wiki in Daba, we went to Wiki Convention Francophone, Wikimania last year, Wikimania this year, and actually uh, we are showing up actually to people to actually l show them what we did and if they have some concerns about our tools and how we develop them. As well, we are actually uh, reaching to the, to, to the public in general. Actually, we are showing this to them. For example, people from the civil society, mainly on, on social networks. And actually, see, we have, we have developed this tool and let's look what's behind that. Actually, there is a project, a very interesting project called Wikipedia, Wikidata that is working behind this. And people will, will be surprised. And actually, is that open? Yeah, it is open. We can, can we co contribute it? Yes. So they, they will be interested to contribute. Actually, there, there is a, a more reach for, uh, for Wikidata and the Wikimedia community in general. So that's the main thing. If Yemen can add something. So uh, yeah, first, first, of, yes, uh, first of all, I just to confirm that currently we are mainly uh, communicating through this is during the conference that we are participating. And I, I should confess also that it's not easy to find these tools when you, there is no like central depo repository where you can browse all the d available tools so you can know about them. So maybe this is something that we can work with the foundation to create like a place where you can find these uh, common uh, applications that you can use and uh, this is the different use cases. So, so for example, you, you can go to this place and find these tools and uh, maybe search for one that you can use in your country. So I confess this is it's not really clear. I mean, uh, that uh, maybe we need to work on it with the foundation to, to centralize all these tools in one place. Otherwise, uh, one, uh, everyone will, will build a new tool and uh, no one will know about it, which is not, so, not, go not good. The second thing, also these tools are not only used for the, co uh, for, I mean, for the community, 
also they, I mean, for civil society, like I said, we can go to the civil society NGOs to, to tell them about these tools so they can use them uh, uh, by themselves. So they're not meant also to use only by the community. So it can you be used by anyone. So we need to communicate more and more about uh, these tools around, uh, like, for example, if uh, if it's about monuments, South Media, we can go to cultural NGO to, to tell them about these tools and everything. Um, so you mentioned working with the foundation to document tools like these out of curiosity, like, do you need the foundation to do, like, is there a reason we can't just create a wiki page on Wikidata and start documenting them there? Like, I'm just curious what the barrier that you, I'm asking because I'm at the, found, I work at the foundation, so if there's like something we can help with, great, I'm very interested in what that would be, but I'm also just wondering if it's like, that may actually not be necessary, like we can probably just start building a wiki page with those resources, but maybe there's something I'm missing, so that's why I'm asking. So basically, all these tools, they should have their uh, page on, uh, we have a page on Meta, for example, for these tools to document them. But this page also are, I mean, you, know to, you need to know how to go there. But there's no just one place, like a uh, single point of, uh, of entry, like to say, this is tool for glam, this is tool for mid scenes, this is tool for uh, that you can browse by subject and find the list of the tool that you can use. And this is the use cases that can be used, for example. So for, for, for example, our friend from Togo, he would like to use something about monuments. He will go to this place and see glam tools. And so you don't just think that it's uh, like a wiki page is going to require you to have to like have this many categories or this kind of thing to get to the page? Yes, something like that probably. Yeah, because it's always a link, right? Yeah, it's yeah, just a link will be, yeah, it will be like... <laughs> Yeah, it can be very useful to do something for external audience, not for the community. For example, uh, an NGO in cultural heritage who would like to see what are tools available for them to be used. Yeah, but I mean, I think yeah. once this is this tool out, I don't really need to use it as part of my wiki page, but it's like there's no need to make it like that. Yeah. So it's like I'm going to create my wiki page and just put tool out of the loop and then I'll use it later. Um, yeah. So that way it doesn't get like rejected or something like that. Yeah. 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 yeah, I wouldn't go to a big firm, but I think it's something that I can work out. <laughs> Thank you. Euh, alors, ma question, c'est, euh, tous ces outils, la fonction, je pense, pour la plupart, euh, c'est basé sur Wikidata. C'est de savoir si vous, vous faites d'abord un travail de cleaning euh, de la donnée, parce que Wikidata, beaucoup de gens contribuent, et ce n'est pas forcément propre quand on utilise, par exemple, les gens peuvent utiliser des propriétés qui ne sont pas forcément les bonnes pour caractériser, en fait, un élément, ou euh, pour euh, donner, en fait, euh, vraiment l'élément de quoi il s'agit réellement. Donc, est-ce que vous faites d'abord un travail de propriété, de cleaning de la donnée avant de, voilà, de lancer vos requêtes en fait, autour de, voilà, de vos outils Merci. Je um, vais traduire la question. Donc, ce qu'il dit, c'est que tous ces outils sont basés sur Wikidata. Et tout ce que nous savons, c'est que Wikidata, il y a beaucoup d'informations et tout le monde peut l'éditer. Donc, on peut avoir, à la fin, des données data. So he's saying what we can do to make sure that uh, the data are correct and can be so to not, uh, I mean, have a wrong results as you know, garbage in, garbage out. So, so this is the question for him and uh, what, what we are doing to do to make sure that uh, the data are correct. Um, yeah, so actually th there are several ways actually to do that. But actually we have not used in this, in this particular use case because actually the data is too specific. But what we have done is that we search for statements that have references. So, so that's the basic thing that we do that. But beyond that, actually, there are several other methods actually based on semantic alignments between Wikidata and external uh, resources that are actually curated and maintained by experts actually to actually verify that the information in Wikidata is correct. So we actually uh, get in the the items that are corresponding to the Wikidata item in external resources, and we are just comparing. And if, if it matches, it is a good information, 
if it does not match, the, that's a ramsh. So that's how we, we do that. Yeah? Go on. Um, right, it's, it's a great conversation. Um, I have an, another question. Uh, is um, uh, we we have been talking about retrieving data uh, from Wikidata, but what about facilitating the uh, ed edits uh, uh, to uh, uh, uploading information to Wikidata by um, people uh, that uh, uh, haven't got? Um, skills on Wikidata, because we all know that uh, Wikidata I is not so easy to, to, to edit. And I wonder if um, what the community thinks uh, uh, about um, building tools that facilitate a, a seamless additions uh, to Wikidata. Is it, um, is it something that the community approves, or is it um, something that, uh, for example, uh, because um, uh, I, I think that the, there could be concerns about vandalism and so on. So that's why I ask. Yeah, actually, uh, well, uh, for this project, actually, uh, for the project that, that was funded by the Wikimedia Foundation. Actually, we are uh, we are leveraging mesh keywords of PubMed publications actually to generate a list of uh, of relations in the form of triples alongside the references. And we are envisioning to build a tool actually that, pro like Wikidata came, that gives the, the statement, actually the ready statement, and they ask the user if it is true or false. And if it is true, add, add Wikidata, click, it is add. If it is false, click on discard, it is discarded from the initial list on the tool. But actually there are plenty of, uh, of challenges here. The first challenge is that we need to t the token of the user, the authorized token. And so we'll, we'll be, will that be actually uh, uh, kind of accepted by the community actually to give their their token, although they do that for many other tools like quick statements. Like, uh, but actually we are developing the, these tools now, and we are minor community members. So, <laughs> so we will give us the same privilege as high standard developers. Uh, the second thing is that. If someone gets into there, and it is auto-confirmed, but it is, he is not an expert, the, actually the, 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 the thing looks very uh, credible. The formulation is look very credible. So we can add, uh, uh, add that to Wikidata without knowing anything. And actually, it will pass there, and not, uh, it will not be vandalized. And actually, it is the wrong information. So how we, we, we should give that right to the right person to validate the thing. The third thing actually, and the last thing, is that uh, there, are, there are some other ideas about actually, uh, instead of uh, uh, like, uh, like the query builder, Instead of letting the, the, the user do all the stuff, actually formulate and get stuck with, the, with things. For example, we can tell people uh, that you, you, choo you can choose from a list of properties, for example. And when he clicks on the property, we can, we can actually uh, the, refine the Elasticsearch only to include the, the elements that correspond to the to the subject and the elements that correspond to the object, so that it will this will not cause any inconsistencies. Inconsistencies. So so, uh, so that that's a w way of thinking. But actually, this is uh, uh, expensive from a computation point of view, and that's 
and that's what makes uh, what makes it very hard actually to implement in a real uh, in real world. There were some f a few uh, initiatives in the past, uh, mainly around games. So some games to, for example, to to add some. Uh, uh, what is the gender, male, female, for example, instance of, but it's like, so when, when, you, when you answer the question, it will edit Wikidata and add the information. There were also some initiative around the structured data. So you have, for example, uh, painting and you, uh, the game, so this painting depicts, uh, for example, uh, a man or uh, a tree or something like that. And of course, we'll update Wikidata. So currently, this is the few initiative that I recall. It's a bit around like gaming, but it will update Wikidata. But uh, I would like also to, uh, to show you something not about editing Wikidata, but about uh, retrieving data in, in an easy way. Because as you know, also not everyone can master Sparkle or uh, the Wikidata query. So uh, in uh, our user group, Wiki World Heritage, this is our website. So we try to, uh, to provide some interfaces to, uh, for user, for uh, visitor to interact with data without manipulate Sparkle. So, for example, here there is a project about uh, World Heritage Cities. So, for example, I would like to generate a map. So, here basically the, we have a map of all the cities around the world. But if I'd, I would like to go inside the city, for example, I chose Medina of uh, Tunis. Then without putting any Sparkle query automatically, by selecting the city, we'll have uh, a zoom into the map uh, on the city and the different monuments of it. If I would like to generate a timeline of, uh, of a city, for example, I will choose, for example, a city in Morocco. And Wikidata will generate a timeline automatically without manipulating Sparkle. So we can, we can think about, for example, also this is a graph about, for example, people uh, in the uh, city of Al Kasbah of Alger in Algeria. So what are the people that are related to these old cities, for example? And we can navigate through this, uh, through this data without manipulating Sparkles. So also we can think about different use cases how to, to display data without manipulating sparkles using this kind of interfaces where the user can select um, a subject or um, I mean a topic and then send this uh, parameter of this, uh, for example, here when we select uh, the city, the, the website will retrieve, I mean, the, proper, I mean the, the queue number of the city and will build automatically a query that uh, will retrieve the data. So there is, the query is behind the scene. So, and the end user will not have to know about the query. Yeah, that, uh, that's very simple actually to implement. So it is a basic, uh, basic HTML with JavaScript. Uh, that's all, it did work. And this can be adapted to any subject, I mean, any topic. This is World Heritage, but can be also doing to, uh, to education, to, uh, for example, Wiki Women, I mean, uh, for gender gap, for everything. So we can think about uh, queries that, uh, and just play with the parameters. Okay, any more questions? Not then. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. <laughs> Thank you.